Hello, welcome. This is Austin coming to you from uh, zclassfire.com and uh, jamwhitenickeluni.com. Today I'm going to be giving us the tips, tips on how to get high score in jam. Most of us are going to be writing jam exams, the one coming up this year, 2017. So and most of us will want to get very high scores so that you can get courses like uh, medicine, medicine and surgery, law, economics, all those uh, good, good and nice courses. So for you to get high score that will enable you to get into the university to study such courses, you need to get high score in jam. You need to do what? Get high score in jam. So today, I'm going to be giving you some of the tips, some of the things you need to do in order for you to get high score in jam. Uh, when you get into the hall, it's likely that you're going to be assigned to a computer that you use to write your uh, jam uh, exams. You know, jam these days are written on computers. So you answer the questions on computers. It's no longer done with paper and pen. So when you are assigned to a computer and you get to the computer, there will be a space for you to uh, key in your uh, jam number, jam registration number. Take note, when you look at your printout, the printout that you got after jam registration, you are going to see where they wrote jam registration number. So you check out that number. The number normally ends with uh, an alphabet, maybe AI, JH or so. So that's what you're going to key in. So once you type it in, you're going to see the four different subjects that you're supposed to write for jam. You remember, each person writes four different subjects. If you're doing medicine, I believe that you've selected English, Physics, Chemistry, and Biology. So once you key in your registration number, you will see these four courses or subjects. So how do you go about answering them? So let's say that you're doing medicine and you're writing English language. You're writing English language. You're writing physics. You're writing chemistry and you're writing biology. That is the four subjects that you're writing because you've chosen to be a medical doctor or uh, you've applied for medicine and so on. Now, when you open up, it's most likely that English comes first. And maybe you understand biology very well. You're very good in biology. What are you going to do? You're going to see boxes having these different courses at the upper part of your window when you open your computer. So what do you do? You go and click on biology so that you start seeing biology questions. So when you start seeing biology questions, below you're going to see the question numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You see the question here. It might ask you which of the following is the definition of cell. Then to have options A, B, C, D, maybe E. So let's say that this is question number one. If you look at question number one and maybe it's confusing, you don't know the answer. And when you click on 2 to take you to question number 2, you look at it, you don't know the answer. You may find out that when you go to numbers like 48, 49, 50, these ones will be easier for you. So why not leave the questions that are from 1 to 10, get to 50 to 40, because you are at the liberty of selecting the question that you want to answer at a particular time. So you may decide to go from 50, most times, the question number, the question for number 50 might be easier. 
So whenever you're answering job questions, you must start from English to physics to chemistry to biology. If you find out that you can answer biology very well, go to biology first. And when you get to biology and you find out that the questions from 1 down to 10 are more difficult than the ones from 50, you can start from 50. When you are done, you then come back to these earlier ones. And when you're done answering biology, if you find out that chemistry is the uh, easier one than the rest of the three remaining, go to chemistry and answer. So that's a very important tip. Some people, once they enter jam or there is this anxiety, they are afraid to make decisions the right way. When you enter the jam hall, it is always important that you go to, go for your jam exams one hour before time so that you'll be relaxed. And when you enter immediately after keying in your damn registration number, when your questions come out, make sure you go to the subject that is easier for you. Go to the subject that is easier for you. If chemistry is the most easiest, go to chemistry after chemistry, biology after biology, physics after physics, English. If you find out that English is easier for you, get to English first. Like those people like engineers that are doing mathematics, you find out that mathematics might be taking longer time for you to finish. Get to other subject. When you are getting admission into university, they will not tell you that because you scored uh, mathematics lower than you cannot get admission. There is nothing like that. Jump is all about the aggregate score. Aggregate score. Even if you score on biology, 100, chemistry, 100, physics, 100, and you get English, zero, you are still getting an aggregate of 300. Even if you get biology 100, chemistry 100, physics 100, and you get English 0, you're still getting an aggregate of 300. And that can affect you any course in the university. So it's all about the aggregate score. And that's why you must try to go to the subject that are easier for you. Answer them first so that you can ask some good maths. That will give you a good aggregate for you to get the course of your choice in the university. So that is very, very important for you. Uh, like I said before, you need to get to the exam hall one hour before time. Look at the environment. In Nigeria, you find out that when you get to some test centers, some computers are not good. When you get to the test center in time, you'll be able to look at what is happening. If you see that people are complaining that some section of the uh, exam hall, that the computers there are not good, be able to get a nice uh, section where you sit down, where the computer will be good. And any time you find out that your computer is not responding very well, make sure you report to the uh, hall attendant so that they will take care of your problem. Don't go there and just sit down and manage everything. You can't do that. So you have to be able to report to the hall attendant and tell the person that this computer is not working. Please, you guys are supposed to change me. So that they will put you in another computer that can help you to do what? To write very well. So we are going to continue, now we are going to be continuing this, our uh, lectures on tips on how to get high score in jam. This is the first part of it. Uh, we are going to start publishing this on our website www.jamwhitenecoyuni.com This is our website w www.jamwayeknekouni.com This is our website, www.jamwayeknekouni.com When you get to this our website, you're going to see lectures, jam lessons on these courses that you're supposed to write in jam. If you're doing chemistry, you see chemistry there. And you see me teaching you, giving you tips, and teaching you everything you need to know in chemistry for you to write jam and pass very well. You see physics, you see biology, CRK, you see many other courses. So this website is very good for you for your learning. It's an online teaching uh, website that you need for you to pass your exams. It's not only for jam, you can use it for YA, you can use it for NICO, and you can also use it for your university studies. When you open the website, you're going to see a lot of features that uh, that will help you. But even when you're in the university, you're going to see a section that says, submit your assignment. So when you submit your assignment to that section, 
we're going to be able to help supply you some tips on how to solve the assignment and some good material that you need for your education. So we're going to be stopping here for now. We'll continue in the next part. Thank you.